Hey everybody! <laughs> no, I'm just joking. So who's asking? Are you asking? I am nervous. See, these things I've never done. Uh, Stop it over. over. Cut. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Do you want me to look at the camera? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, look right here. Go. Answer the questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Betania Savoya. Hi, I'm Rob. My name is Mark Tripura. Hello, my name is Abraham Lee. Hi, my name is Rebecca. My name is Yash. Hi, my name is Caitlin Ellis. My name is Chris Lascelles. I'm from Brazil. And what I believe represents our culture is relationships, but also joy. I'm from India. Every time I think about India, it's like a land of worship. Um, but a true worship to a false god. And I see in the kingdom of God that our nation can come and worship a, to a true God. I grew up in New Zealand. I left New Zealand to come to the United States when I was 23 years old. One of the things about New Zealand culture that reflects the kingdom of God is something that's come about relatively recently. I would say over the last 20 to 30 years. There's been a real honoring of the Maori culture, the natives who were there before the Europeans arrived. And so we love to meet new people. We love to uh, connect and be together, but we love to have a lot of fun. I am from Bangladesh. I am born in the jungle of Bangladesh. So in my culture, like when we see a stranger, somebody walking through the house, then we say, hey, where, where from you came, where are you going? If we found something, he's going far away, then we say, please come stay in my house and have meals, take some rest, drink some water, then go back. I'm from the United States of America. So a kingdom characteristic that I think represents America pretty well is through our law and our justice system. And I'm from Germany, born and raised in Germany. And I think one of the biggest things that uh, connects my culture with the kingdom culture is soccer. We'll, we'll play a lot of soccer in the kingdom of God. I am from South Korea. 안녕하세요. Uh, I want to share what is a good character of kingdom of God through our culture. It's peacekeeping. Canada is known for being a peaceful nation and bringing peace to other nations. And it also, our nation is also known for unity and diversity. India is so different. Every state are different from each other state, but they are so united. So when I see in the light of the kingdom of God, we can be so different from different culture, in different colors, but yet we can be very united in Christ. I love that question because when I think about the excellence and the preciseness and the beauty with which God created the universe. It does remind me a little bit of my culture because in Germany we value precision and excellence and frameworks and structure. And you know, if you think about the, the beauty of a human cell and the incredible uh, details that, that, that there are, and then you go up and you see the constellation of the stars and the distance between the sun and the earth and everything is perfect and just right. In Germany we love that. So we invite and even the stranger, same way we found in the Bible, Abraham, he saw the stranger, he invited them. So in my culture, we have like a hospitality even to the stranger. That's a kind of, uh, I can see the similarity in my culture and the Bible. We always think other first, that is good or bad. Sometimes we are doing very well. We say, I can do that. And say other people, they are better than me, like this. Also, we are thinking other first means oh, we didn't express what I want first. Ask other, what do you want? What do you want? And then we easily follow others' opinion very well, making one in Christ. And tell jokes and just be excited about life, even though it can be hard, but we love to have fun about life. So, joy in relationships. It's a culture of humility and respect. We respect our elders. Like if an elder walks into a room, we will stand up and pay a respect to the elders. So it's a culture of respect. And in the kingdom of God, when we stay together, we are young, old, youth, and whatever age we are, 
we respect each other in humility so we can serve the Lord. And like so many countries, we've, we've had a, a history of various conflicts and, and problems, but there's been a real honoring in recent times, and that reflects the kingdom of God because God created the families of the earth, the cultures of the earth, and I think God wants us to do more than just reconcile with dif different ethnic groups, but He wants us to love each other and delight in those different groups because they're reflective of who He is. So I say, Good job, New Zealand, in making some progress on that. German people love precision and excellence and when things are just right. So I feel like that's a part of uh, German culture that we bring that is that lines up with God's, God's kingdom very much. We have certain laws in place as Americans that give us uh, freedom and protect our rights in order to um, be functioning humans. <laughs> I think that directly relates to something that God has placed in the kingdom as He's given us promises and He's given us authority to walk in freedom from sin with Him and to live more justly and He fights for us in those things, so yeah. Last one is uh, hospitality. Whenever you Korean uh, house, they welcome you and they try to feed the food and feed any dessert, uh, whatever you want or not. Yeah, they are happy to give free meal, free dessert, everything. And also, they can say to you, thank you very much uh, because you have eaten very well. That is kind of a Korean hospitality. It's also known for being a provider. It provides food for many nations. And Canada is the largest country with fresh water. Uh, and that is also known as a healing source, as water is healing to our bodies. And so that's another redemptive quality from Canada that it gives to other nations.